guys, what is going on? Redmash here, and welcome back to another episode of Cards and Castles Hidden Combos, where today we do have quite the interesting deck to show off. Now, for a while, rats haven't really done or been all that prevalent on ladder competition. Um, w regarding some of the recent changes that happens to rats, um, their spawner being moved to pirates, uh, the king himself having an upkeep of two, uh, bounce spells are all over the place. Um, honestly, rats, they, again, are in a weird place. But, today, I think I have a deck that might showcase rats to the fullest potential right now, or at least what I think might be their full potential now. And hopefully you guys find this deck fun and entertaining, because I certainly do myself. So, with that being said, let's get into the Mystic Rats deck list. So here it is, uh, my deck for what I'm calling, my, or at least what I think is my Mystic Rat deck. I mean, obviously other people have done rat decks in the past, and of course, some have, well, I wouldn't say some, I mean, they've had success. Rat decks, go, you know, people making certain rat decks have had success with them. So I figured I'd try it, and this is the deck list that I came up with. Honestly, it's been a quite the interesting ride with it. If you guys saw... Uh, the most recent red uh, ranked with red, uh, you would know that I tried to take this deck through a series of matches, and uh, I got some varied results along the way. Obviously, rats aren't the strongest deck right now, so when faced with a heavy meta-like deck, it might fall behind. But sometimes, you might be able to outplay those meta decks, or maybe even outplay the non-meta decks that are out there. So... Um, I would say if you are playing this deck, expect some varied results, but th the list or the, um, the theme behind this is very uh, simple. Your idea here is to create some nasty swarms using Rat King, along with bounces like Vanish Strike and Shadow Slip, and then even maybe Mystic Journeying said Rat King um, when he's on the field, and of course creating four rats to be played, um, and of course, you know, on summon. Uh, so they can do some even more damage. Having those swarms too buffed by Armory, Blacksmith, Temple of the Five Gods. All to create these devastating uh, like 4-3 rats potentially. And how fast they move, where they can get to. And even if they have chain like with the Temple of the Five Gods, those rat swarms can get worrying. We are of course running though a lot of other things to sort of compensate. Um, in case you maybe you don't have a rat in game. Uh, for example, we do run Shaman and Hassan City Guards to make use of those Mystic Journeys if you guys aren't really pulling them in-game. We are running, of course, also um, Lunging Attack, uh, Forbidden... I mean, I, oh, I forgot to mention that I had Forbidden Scroll in here. Honestly, this card is sort of like a work in progress. I'm sort of testing it out right now, only at 2, uh, just to see what I can do with it. I think if you bounce a friendly unit, plus giving him that, you know, armory-like buff, it could be fairly interesting. So again, testing that bounce as well. Uh, but I meant to really say, like, Lightning Blade we're running in here, Spear Strike, a Lunging Attack, as sort of some other uh, Viking Ninja buffs. And of course, what Ninja deck is complete without the Magic Eater himself, running all these spell cards, you're bound to at least uh, be able to, or at least, yeah, you'll be able to get some sort of um, Arcanon buff. Uh, and of course, with the enemy playing spells as well, you'll most likely get some um, extra buffs on him as well. Um, and for our late game stuff, I mean, I already mentioned Temple of the Five Gods, obviously, but we are running T-Rex and Yarm. Just some solid units. Honestly, um, the late game can vary depending on your collection. I don't really think... I mean, you're, the whole idea is not to really uh, emphasize the late game too much. You're really focusing on those rat swarms, but... Um, I mean, Yarm Giant, he is a rare, so he's not a bad tank to throw in there. Tyrannosaur might be, um, a bit out of your collection, uh, but for that, I would say you could probably go with a Ranger, or if you even have a Mordok, potentially those two are good choices, but if you want to run the exact list, I'm running T-Rex, just for the, uh, Fear Aura, of course, a nice tanky unit, and he goes well with a lot of buffs that are currently out there. Other than that, aside from sort of the other standard stuff in here, Lumberjack, Barbarian, Fluck for some spells. Uh, there isn't that much else to the deck. Um, so, I mean, with that being said, I don't think I should delay you guys any longer from the gameplay. So, let's get right into that. Alright, so for our opening hand, it isn't, this isn't really a bad one at all. I'm actually going to leave it this as is. Uh, I do have the Lumberjack into Hassan City Guard, into Spear Strike. So, there's a lot of good things going on right now with the deck. 
He throws out a Salahar Soldier, which is an interesting choice, but we're just going to simply Lumberjack to counter it for now. Um, I'm sure he's not going to waste any buffs on the Salahar Soldier, and of course it's a very easy trade for him. Um, okay, fair enough. Hassan City Guard come out to follow that. But he actually retreats the soldier. Quite interesting. Uh, I wouldn't expect him to retreat the soldier like that. But of course, it does give us the opportunity here to just trade out with everything on the board. And we'll get a shaman for our troubles, which we, again, use for more draw. Good cycling tools. Um, ah, that's why. Cheeky bastard. Um, hmm. Well, this is upsetting. Let's go with the coin out into flux. That's what I'm going to do here. Sure, I gave him that additional uh, power there, but the, pr it, it, the question is, can he follow up? And the answer, more than likely, he throws out a meditation. Ooh. That could be troublesome. Potentially. Uh, although I do have the spear strike, which I'm going to really rely on here. Um, again, don't want to use any of those right now. So we're just going to follow up with a shaman down here. Push up. Hassan a little closer and then we'll call that a turn he brings his guy up to a 7-7 seven, seven, which is again fine by me he plays an additional trap interesting um, might need to test that out we can do that simply on the oh hello oh howdy well, now I wish I didn't waste that uh... alright here's what we can do there it is. Yep. Hence what I was nervous of. And then plus five, seven. Look at this. A beautiful takedown. And then, um. I guess we can do this, right? So he's not going to hit our castle next turn. Plus, it gets the card out of our hand. So, at this point, I think the deck's doing very well. We haven't seen a lot of rats from it yet, but that's quite alright. We do have a lot of Mystic Journeys in our hand, so when that Rat King does come out, oh boy, it's going to be fun. Um, he'll throw out a Kunoichi. Alright, interesting choice there. But we're going to throw out a T-Rex here. And hopefully, maybe catch the Kunoichi in the fear. Yes, we will. Beautiful. So now, T-Rex isn't being threatened by Kuno. Unless he speed buffs it. But even then, putting a speed buff on him wouldn't be too powerful. He'll respond with the Hassan City Guards. Interesting choice there. Uh, we did have another T-Rex, though. Oof. Um, still no Kunoichi, unfortunately. But that's alright. Because we can do this. We can also get... You know what we can do? We can... Hmm. Well, obviously, we're going to kill this off. So we'll do that first. And then we can give T-Rex the knockback, right? We'll get Shadow Slip for our troubles. And then... Mm. Oh, I found the Kunoichi, even better. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. Don't want to deal with it. And if we can get rid of it now, then that's a benefit for us. So again, we're kind of keeping him on the... Uh... Ooh, hello. Scratch that. I'd say we're keeping him on the, uh, keeping him contained pretty well there, but I guess not. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Um, we are going to, of course, hit the guard. Following up with a T-Rex, I think that's the best move we can potentially do right now. Of course, Ragnar's gonna get pushed back, um, unless he speed buffs it. But I do have a lot of things to take him out right now. Vanishing Strike. I might go with the Lightning Blade, actually, depending on where he places that Ragnar. Although, he'll Ice Weave me. Meanwhile, Ludicrous Strength and Ragnar. Oof. Alright, that's going to put us in a tough spot. Oh, that's not a good... Uh. Here's what we can do. We can Vanish. We can Armor Up. We can move some of our guys uh, forward here.
Yeah, I'm gonna put my rat in front of the castle. I'm gonna leave that as an open target. Um, I'll take five damage if I if he decides to hit that. So it's his choice. Battle ready and knock. Oh shit. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> he made a super Ragnar, and he hits. Okay, I mean he gets the five damage. Plus a rune warrior. Fair enough. That's a two additional. But I have a bunch of rats. See, like, look at this. I can just simply do this. I can blacksmith down here. I can mystic journey. I can do this. Ready? Freeze. Onto you. Uh, obviously we need some, okay, we need some form of damage here, so uh, we're going to hit this, we're going to hit that, we're going to, again, do another Mystic Journey, uh, and then move our rats just so that he can't lightning everything together like one big mess, and I would say, boom, look at that, we've created a whole swarm on the board, Meanwhile, placing him at a no-card advantage and facing down a crap ton of rats on the board. Alright. Det detentions are blacksmith and a four. Okay, so he's just going to give up right there. Alright, so I would say that was a great demonstration of the swarm that the rats can create. Uh, very fun if you get a lot of mystic journeys like that. And that's Super Ragnar, while powerful if that swarm you know this sort of rat swarm comes out like that it can do some serious damage as you saw pretty much clearing the board in our favor so overall a very good match to showcase the mystic rat potential and um yeah good good stuff all around with that being said guys i hope you guys did enjoy this episode of hidden combos playing around with some rat swarms having some fun while doing it um, if you guys like the video, please make sure to give it a like, of course share it with your friends, and of course comment down below your thoughts on the Mystic Rat deck, and if you're using it, tell me how you're doing with it, again, in that comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, help share your support, help us grow the channel, all by clicking that subscribe button at no additional cost to you. And with that being said, guys, until next time, stay gaming.